What is up design family and welcome to another episode of Fit Design TV. On this episode, we'll be looking at how you as a sportswear or fashion designer can incorporate the iPad Pro into your workflow. This is a little bit of a different video than what we usually do, but there are gonna be a ton of good tips and tricks here. So stay tuned, you guys are in for a good one. Welcome to Fit Design TV. On this channel, we'll explore what it takes to make it as an active wear fashion brand, whilst providing tips, tricks, and actionable steps towards starting your own product line. Whether you're an entrepreneur looking to start your own brand or just someone interested in fitness fashion, there's something for you here. The iPad Pro is a awesome tool. It's been redesigned to be more sleek, to be more capable, and it's a tool that you definitely should not overlook as a fashion designer in 2019. There are a couple of reasons and I'd love to share them with you. The number one is the portability of the iPad makes it a great research buddy. Everyone knows that research is the first step of any design phase and the portability of the iPad allows you to take it wherever you go, whether it's in a coffee shop, at the studio, at home, and to be using web tools like Pinterest, Behance, or even just Google searching to kind of create a visual mood board in your head, look at what is out there, do research on trends, and just to save those images by you know pressing on the screen, long pressing, saving the image, creating a folder in your photos app, and just beginning to curate what it is that you wanna extract from the inspiration phase. Number two is it's a great collaborative tool. Because it's such a small profile object, you're able to have it wherever you are with you and also the seamless file sharing tools like the AirDrop feature or even the iCloud feature or some either third-party apps like Trello, which I'll go into detail in a bit, allow you to quickly transfer large files between you and your team members, whether it's that you're working on a project together and you have one team member working on some trend research, one member working on some color research, one member working on some material research. You guys can collate all of those ideas together on the native notes app and just have everything in one space. Or even if you don't wanna use the notes app, you're able to airdrop those assets or those tools to your different members just by swapping down from the top right and selecting the device that you want to send it to, given that it's an OS device or it's an Apple device. Doing that allows you to just seamlessly go back and forth between your team and to just collect everything into a single space and have a more holistic research program or product that you've created so that you can move on stronger to the next phase and design with full confidence. You need to also be able to take notes Notes is a super important process and it's something that should not be overlooked, whether it's at a team meeting where you're jotting down notes on what's been researched on or whether you're meeting a client and you're taking down their requirements so that they don't have to repeat it at a later stage. Being able to just grab the iPad, double tap on the screen using the stylus and get straight into the notes app is an honestly awesome experience and something that makes going in and out of the notes app super streamlined takes away the headache of having to think, oh, where's my notepad? Or I need to log in and I need to access the notes app. Having access to your apps like that makes taking notes just so much easier. We also like to use third-party apps like NoteShelf. NoteShelf allows you to give a bit more depth to your notes by adding audio, video, or even handwritten notes that can be transcribed into text. So looking at third-party options like that also will allow you to elevate your workflow to take things to the next level. Once you have your notes, once you have your collaborative items done, once you have your research done, you wanna begin sketching raw ideas. Any designer knows that going from the inspiration phase to actually putting pen to paper is super tiresome, but it's something that has to be done in order to push your ideas forward. Again, using key native apps like Notes allow you to just take your pen out with a super low latency and sketch your ideas, whether they're super refined or not, you're able to have something that is accessible to you at any times. And if you need to email that off to someone or airdrop it to someone for their feedback, you're able to do that with a press of a button. Once you have your rough ideas sketched, you wanna take them into professional grade softwares. And lucky for us, the Apple ecosystem has a ton of professional grade drawing software like Procreate, Affinity Designer, Autodesk has a great sketchbook app. 
even using a mirroring app like Astropad will allow you to mirror the screen on your MacBook, on your iMac, directly onto your iPad, and to use the stylus or the Apple Pencil as an input device. With the super low latency, the high levels of pressure sensitivity, and the general kind of touch and feel of the Apple Pencil make it an awesome input tool and something that can rival the likes of professional drawing styluses like the Wacom and all of the Wacom family. So something to consider, being able to use digital tools like Procreate puts you at an advantage to a designer that's strictly using pen and paper for a variety of reasons. One is again, it's the accessibility, having your iPad on you at any time because you're able to do so much on it, chances are you're going to have access to an iPad as opposed to your notepad or your sketchbook and being able to kind of go back and forth within your design phase is a key component in terms of creating something super professional and super accurate when your drawing skills may not be 100%. Let's face it, not all of us are master artists and we have to draw and erase and draw and erase in order to get what we want. And when you're using a pen and paper, that's just so tiresome and it's something that becomes so tedious after a while. With the iPad, it's a simple two tap and you're able to undo and if you want to redo it's a triple tap that's on procreate but that logic follows through for a lot of the different softwares and just being able to go back and forth like that is so important and something that has personally made us better designers and better drawers at fit design as well with tools like procreate you're able to import existing bases that you've maybe worked on or even images off the internet and trace over them put them onto a different layer turn down the opacity using the symmetry tool you're able to draw out one half and it automatically as you're drawing it will symmetrically paste onto the other half which will literally cut down your workflow into half and just going to make your drawing a lot more accurate and it's going to make your overall process a lot more streamlined and smooth and it's gonna take the headache away from creating these professional flat 2D sketches. Although the iPad's multitasking features and capabilities are not 100% yet, but with the recently announced iPad OS, that's definitely gonna change the core tools like split screen views or even the dock which remembers your favorite apps or even the swipe up feature to access all of your open apps is something that does allow you to do some multitasking on the iPad and to have different sets of information open so that you can transfer them between apps, whether it's having your notes app open and then Procreate open on one side. And while you're sketching, you're able to consistently refer to your notes, see what different items or elements you want to incorporate into your design. Being able to do that is the icing on the cake and an already very good experience from the great hardware that's used on the iPad super super snappy processor great screen with the liquid retina screen it's just going to allow you to represent those colors a lot more vibrantly and a lot more accurately and that's going to definitely come in handy when you're looking at color information from apps like pantone studio where you may select the color swatches that you will have as opposed to maybe buying the 400 500 physical booklet that pantone has you're able to subscribe to an app like pantone studio for five dollars a month and have access to all of the different pantone cards because of the accuracy the srgb accuracy of the ipad you're just going to have something that is as close to possible as real life as it's going to get at a fraction of the cost of buying the physical book so that's been a kind of brief overview of how you can incorporate the iPad into your workflow. Obviously, each of these different components will have a lot more information attached to them. And it's something that in future videos, we'd love to go into detail in. But at the moment, just wanted to cover the basic ways in how we as a company use the iPad Pro and how you as a fashion designer, as a sports designer can use the iPad Pro in your workflow. If there's something that we've missed, please do leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear, I'd love to learn new ways on how I can get better at my workflow and maybe there's something that I've missed, apps that I have missed. Please leave it in the comments below. Always enjoy hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to Fit Design TV. It's been an absolute pleasure. Until next time, stay awesome.